middle of the day, time for a video. Something that is vastly misunderstood and over-prescribed in the musculoskeletal world. We always try to take things down to the most simplistic nature of that. And these two things are about as simple as it gets. Tight or weak muscles. Uh, people are walking around all day with these diagnoses. Even made by doctors, personal trainers, physical therapists, massage therapists. They go, man, that's really tight. That's really weak. Here's what you need to do. You either, if it's tight, you stretch the hell out of it, or you jam a lacrosse ball in there, or you foam roll it, or you continue to stretch some more. If it's weak, then it must be need to be strong. So we strengthen the hell out of it, and we continue to do that. And this never-ending cycle ensues. And people are stretching, they're strengthening, and they continue to do it. And then the doctors out there continue to prescribe this and continue to give that. And what happens? You're still injured, you're still having your problem, and you still have tight or weak muscles. What's really going on there? Great question. Muscles tighten up for a reason. They tighten up mostly to protect a bigger underlying problem. A lot of times it's a damage to the joint, to the cartilage, to the disc in the neck, or possibly a tear. And what happens is the muscles around there engage in this thing called protective tension, where they keep the force off of that area. It's the same thing when you sprain your ankle. You know, your body limps. It's limping for a reason to take the pressure off of there. So just because it's tight, you need to figure out why it's tight. Weak. Weak is my other favorite one. There's people out there all across the internet um, that are parent experts. I don't know. Haven't seen any credentials. That just say muscles aren't firing, your glutes aren't firing, your VMO is weak, your blah 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 is weak. These muscles are weak for a reason. They are trying to protect something. Again, your body, your brain, your musculoskeletal system is way smarter than you. So these muscles actually engage in some protective weakness, especially in your VMO or your glutes. They're trying to take the force off something that is worse, usually in there. It's cartilage damage or it's a disc injury. And if you go in there and get these muscles strong, what you actually do is expose that weakness even further and you expose that pathology. You can have a bigger problem in there. So if you're walking around with either one of these diagnoses and you're still in pain, you need to get to a new doctor that can actually figure out what's going on and figure out why these things are happening and has a solution to do that. Usually they're trained, who would have thought, in the integrative diagnosis system. We'll see you guys a little later. Hope you're having a good day.